one Sunday night in early 2013, my wife and my son and I, we went downtown to Louisville, Kentucky to eat at a spaghetti warehouse. We walked down to the restaurant, we had a great dinner, and as we were walking back to the car, I just looked up and I realized that it was an abortion facility right there in downtown Louisville, Kentucky. I'd lived there for two years, and I didn't even know an abortion facility was there. In the weight of that moment, he allowed God to break his heart to do something about the problem of abortion in his backyard. That night did something to me. I remember how gripped I was that it was there and I have to do something, but I didn't really know what to do. Nate showed up on the sidewalk and he just began to do the probably the most important thing, which is pray. It was early 2013. I started going out to the sidewalk on Saturdays. I, I started standing there and praying with, with folks who were Catholic and who were Protestant. He didn't want to say anything to hurt the situation. He was standing there and he was like, how do I bridge this gap? How do I begin to talk? How do I begin to reach out? But, but do that in an, the most effective manner. I started hearing about Sidewalk Advocates for Life launching nationally. I was like, yeah, that sounds like that's it. That's what we need. We need comprehensive. We need something that helps to train people so they know what to do and that supports them when they have tough stuff that they're dealing with. And so it was that fall, the fall of 2014 that Sidewalk Advocates for Life came to Louisville, Kentucky as an actual location. He found Sidewalk Advocates for Life at a time that he was praying and searching for answers. And I think what this ministry did for him was help him to respond to the call that God had put on his heart. After I got more involved with Sidewalk Advocates for Life, I remember the very next time that I was able to help a young woman on that Louisville sidewalk. She was already in tears and they went inside. And I just was praying and just asking that God would give us an opportunity. It wasn't too much longer that that young man that she was with came back out. And as he walked down the sidewalk, I just walked with him. I said, hey man, we're here to help you. We can help you right next door as a pregnancy resource center. And it wasn't but just a few minutes later that he came out with his girlfriend hand in hand and they went right next door. It's not enough to just go check a box and say, well, at least I'm doing something. That's wonderful. We need to all be doing something. But I think our call is not just to do something, but do the most effective thing. Nate found Sidewalk Advocates for Life at a time that he was praying and searching for answers. And within a couple of years, ended up on our national team, now serving people around the nation who have allowed their heart to be broken by the crisis of abortion and have said, yes, God, use me. I know that maybe you've been comfortable going and praying on the sidewalk and you're like, I could never talk to someone. But you can do it with the tools that Sidewalk Advocates for Life has given you. Because if you're burdened and God's called you, then He's going to make room for you to join us at Sidewalk Advocates for Life.